We are so excited that you're here with us tonight. Here. I thought we were just here this morning. Wait, weren't we were. We were here this morning. Yes, yes, <laughs> we were. What's going on with that? I don't know. So welcome to, it's day two, you have completed two days of prayer and fasting. Congratulations. Two days. Of prayer and fasting. Wow. Yeah. What, what have we had to eat? Let's just, let's just. Not much, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's Not all, much. Not that's much. all right. So we, hey, take a second. We want to let you guys uh, jump on and um, join us. Today. Join us. We, let us know how your fast is going. Let us know how we can pray for you. Yes. Um, and and fast. yesterday we talked about just some steps, some, some basic steps. Uh, what does it look like to pray? What does it look like to fast? Those type of things. Mm -hmm. And, uh-oh, you don't see the laptop in the, in the shot. Are you going to be upset with me? I'm very I was, upset. I was trying. I was actually trying. You're supposed so, to set the, anyways, the stage. Um, oh, Annette is on. Hi, Annette. Annette. Good to see you again. We're happy to see you. Hi. Uh, a very Let's talented see. cousin. Very talented. She is a nurse practitioner. Yes, yes. Very, very beautiful one at that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, how's thing? How are things going? If you're joining us for 21, the 21 days, we're we're uh, hoping hoping things are going well. You know, a couple of things just to remember about when you're fasting, depending on what kind of fast you're doing. You know. The first couple of days are the roughest, I think, mm -hmm. because, you know, there's just a, a little bit of a detox that your body naturally does. And uh, That's so true. you may experience, a, you know, some, some headaches or some things like that. But I just want to encourage you to, to push through that and keep drinking lots of water. And those, those type of things will go, <laughs> uh, will go away uh, as, as your body kind of, uh, you know, de detoxes. But we're also on a soul detox as well. A soul detox. Yes, and so that, that's one of the things we're Tell talking about. Tell me about a soul detox. Is, yeah, well, it's just it's just detaching from the things mm -hmm. uh, of the world that would um, kind of trip mm -hmm. us up spiritually speaking, and uh, yeah. want to get back into some really good disciplines of prayer and, and uh, Bible reading and uh, just spending time with the Lord. Uh, and so these are some of the things that we're talking about, and hopefully encouraging you along the way. Uh, we have some praise reports to talk about today and then one of uh, a few people that we've been praying for uh, over the last couple of days yeah. have experienced healing. They've, they're starting to experience the Lord uh, is some, good, some good reports. Yes. And uh, so we want to keep that going as well as we connect with God. We wanna, yeah. We want to uh, go on. Who we got on with well, us today? Well, we have Victoria. Victoria. Hi, Victoria. We miss you, Victoria. Yes. We have Annette. We have Victoria. We have Nancy. Nancy, Hi, Nancy. Nancy. you're so sweet. Yeah. I mean, you're really sweet. You're just always there. She says, Victoria says, hey. <laughs> Maria says, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, Maria. Yeah. So it's... Uh, Nancy, hallelujah. Nothing is impossible for our God. Victoria misses us. I yes, miss you, miss you. Too. Oh, my goodness. Look forward goodness. to the day that we get to see you. Again. Yes. Again. Um, and, uh, yeah, so what are we talking about today? We're talking... Well, about... I want to tell a little bit about the praise reports. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. I did not mean to go ahead. <laughs> he did not mean to go ahead. I want to put these glasses on. I'm just going to sit in my water... Um, we had a few people that, we had a, one person that was in ICU that actually they were really close to intubating because she has COVID and she, praise the Lord, is not going to be on a ventilator. Come on. They actually took off one of the heavy oxygens and uh, they, they, I don't know what she's on now, probably a, a mask. But um, she ate dinner today, guys. Yeah, that's a big... And she's that. been sick with COVID for a little bit. So that yeah. is a huge win right there. Amen. And um, we had my sister-in-law that she was released from the hospital from COVID. All right. That's a win. Uh, and, um, you know, I have... I, I believe my brother's doing well. So that's another win. Another win. And, uh... Yeah. Yeah. My mom came out of surgery oh, fine. She had yeah. my mother had surgery. Uh, so these are some people we've been praying and 
and uh, this is watching God answer prayer. And he really has been answering yeah. prayer. And so if you, again, if you know anybody that needs to just a touch from the Lord, please let us know. We'll continue to pray for them. We're giving them to their names to our staff, our, mm -hmm. our, our pastors, so that they can pray for them. We're praying for them by name. And then follow up. Let us know how things are going. Yeah. So that's great. So that remember, just these 21 days are about disconnecting from the world for a little while and connecting to God through prayer. Well, I, okay, okay. I did have, I was reading something today. Actually, I was listening a video, a podcast, and, and during the podcast, the, oh, that's on my phone. Uh, he was saying, what was it about life if you're, remember you said, oh, that's for me. <laughs> if you make it, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, well, we, said, we actually said it this morning. We did. I said, I'm going to keep saying this for 20 Oh, yes. Yeah. Well, then you better say it right now. I'll say it at the end. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, I promise. Okay. All right. There we go. All right, so I, I don't want to keep you guys too long tonight. I know you're so busy and you got lots to do. Maybe staying warm. Staying warm would be good. it's really cold it's outside. It's really cold. Like, really cold. But not as cold as Syracuse or Did... Fulton or upstate New York where it's in the negatives. Wow, he had to At say that. At least it's 16 degrees here, which is like a heat wave in Syracuse. Uh... So. All right. So uh, I want to just do a brief devotion with you from Jensen Franklin okay. uh, and then just expound on it a little bit. Nothing... This is just something to encourage you. And remember, you have to remember the context and what we're talking about. We're talking about being able to come into the Lord's presence and uh, spend time with God through prayer. And um, mm -hmm. in Luke chapter 13, uh, and I think you can probably put that in the chat if you want. Luke 13. Uh, okay. We're going to do it anyway because I know you. I'm Luke, a note taker. <laughs> Luke 13, verse 12. Um, there's a story um, there was a woman in Luke 13, verse 12, who had a, a spirit of infirmity. In other words, there was something wrong with her for 18 years. She had a, she had a bleeding problem. She was bent over. Mm -hmm. uh, you've, her, her story, maybe you've, if you know the Gospels, you're really, really familiar with this story. But one of the things that, mm -hmm. that, that, that uh, pop out is when Jesus saw her, he called her to him and said to her, Woman, you are loosed from your infirmity and he laid his hands on her and immediately she was able to bend she was able to straighten herself wow. back up she was she was uh, uh and she had been that way for for 18 years wow. for 18 years 18 yeah years. and that's a that's a long time long right time. it's a long time to be struggling it's a long time to be fighting it's a, it's a long time uh you could become weary Right, it's it's just it's a, something to struggle with, struggle with, um, and then to really receive no help, mm. like to kind of be at the end of your rope. And yet Jesus called her, Jesus saw her, and he called her and said, "Come." Wow. You know, he and he he just he said he said, "Come." So Jensen Franklin gives us two reasons. I just want to share them with you because they're really good. And the first one is. Uh, God wants us to exercise faith and act on his word. When you live with an unsolved problem for a long time, you start thinking this is gonna ne this is never going to change. I'm always going to be this way. I'm always going to be in this in this place. So before God changes your circumstances, he changes your mind. Wow. And I love that because what we've been talking about at New Song is uh, Romans 12 verse 1 and 2 that um, we don't want to be conformed to the image of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. We know that not everything is in the mind, but the mind is the battlefield where everything takes place. Yeah. You know, and so we want we want to remember that uh, for us to we have to change our mind and really believe, kind of stand out in faith that over these next twenty one days, God's going to hear, God's going to call us. We're, we're going to get into His presence. We're going to see God do uh, what only he can do. So you said, before God changes your circumstances, He, he changes, changes your, your mind. mind. Yeah, wow. I didn't say that. I'm just quoting what Jensen Franklin well, said. But yes. I, well, the, I'm that's not what I just said. Yeah, yes. That's amazing. And, and that's, that's what faith is. It is true, though. That's what basic faith is. Yeah. I mean, I think that you know, God, um, if He if He immediately, uh, you know, made us well. I think that as humans, we would probably just go back to what we know. 
and we would just not attribute that to God. And, yeah. uh, you know, God, he doesn't want to see us in pain, of course, but he He releases things at the right time. At the right time, he does. He's an on-time God. And, yeah. and um, you know, faith is a necessary agent. Yes. It is a necessary agent. In fact, uh, Hebrews says that without faith, it's it's impossible for us to, to see God. Yeah. So, so um, we we need to 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 believe mm. that he exists and that he is a rewarder of those who, who, who seek him. Yeah. And so that's the first thing. The second thing is God wants us to invest in our own deliverance. Mm. So he called her, uh, but he wants us to invest in our own deliverance. When you have an investment in something, you value and you protect mm. it. That way, when Satan tries to bring that problem back to you, you say, no, I don't receive that. That's no longer who I am. Right. I'm That's new right. creation That's right. in, in Christ. And so we'll, we'll, we'll have part two of this uh, tomorrow. But d just this idea that for 21 days, you're engaging in prayer and fasting. You're investing yeah. in, in your relationship with the Lord. You're getting closer to God. You're, you're believing God for these things. And so over the next 21 days, why not? begin to pray for these unresolved problems, it's these so unsolved true. things, maybe these, these, these issues. They may not only be health issues. They could be, you know, mind games. They could be relationships that you want to see restored. You, you know, all these yeah. things. Why not trust and go to the creator of yeah. heaven and earth mm -hmm. and believe God for these things? And so um, that's what I want to pray about tonight as we end our Well, our you know, I, I do believe that, you know, um, we just, we got to pray and dig in. Even when we don't see, you know, those results, you keep pressing in, you keep mm -hmm. moving forward, you keep believing, and you keep going and going and going. And the, every prayer that you pray, it doesn't go into the air and just va evaporate. The Lord hears them all, and he remembers them. So he hears every prayer. So we don't want you to give up. Mm -hmm. We want you to press in. We want you to believe. Believe it and know that once you release it, the Lord has it. Yeah, but you keep sense. going. You keep going and you give it and you give it into his hands, as yeah. Pastor Mike says. Give it to him. Yeah. That's so so we want to we want to pray for these unresolved things. Maybe again, maybe you uh you're like the woman, you know, you yeah. just have this thing and it's been there for a long time. Could be anything. I don't want to just say you know what it is. You've been dealing with it. Mm -hmm. And so uh, during these 21 days, why not believe that Jesus is saying, come on, come on, bring it here. Bring it to me. Give it to me. Like change your mind the way you think about yeah. this. You're not always this way. You're not always going to be this way. You're, you're not who people have said you are. You're a new creation yeah. in Christ. Yeah. I, I'm your healer. Yeah. I'm your deliverer. Yeah. I'm the one that will set you free. So You, you know, wanna, oh. it's true. I'm sorry. I keep interrupting Pastor okay. Mike today. No, no, it's all right. We're... You know, I, I think that that is so true, our mindset. And um, I want to give you a little advice that I, that I do and have done and will continue to do. Um, you know, we, I got saved. I gave my life to Jesus. And the old me, I didn't like, okay? I mean, I don't know if anyone likes the old who you walk, were. But what I do is I said, I, I dug a grave. And I, in your mind, in my mind, not in reality, I did not dig grave. That would be scary for me, probably. I would be the one ending up in there. Yeah, but I didn't dig an uh, actual grave. I did it in my mind, and I literally kicked the old me in. I filled her the, the grave up with the dirt, and then I mixed cement in my mind, and I poured it over the grave, and I said, you'll never come back. Because you know what? That old me does want to come back sometimes. So that old mindset. Yeah, the old mindset. And I had to change my mind. I had to allow God to transform me from the renewing of my mind. And the only way I could do that was by reading his word, by believing what he said, and allowing God to minister to me. That's right. And so that's what we're asking you to do tonight, you know, just as a step in faith. In fact, if you have a little prayer journal that you're writing, Shannon's you're writing, writing, in. Yes. You're writing some things down that you want to just write in, you mm. know what? You just write in, you know, Jesus, I'm giving you this fear. I'm giving you this anxiety. I'm giving you this 
whatever it is for 21 days. 21 I'm, days. I'm coming to you, God. I'm asking you to heal my body. Yes. I'm asking you to heal my mind. Yes. I'm asking, asking you, Lord, to, to, to give me a little bit more faith, Lord, yep. to take that step. Yep. Yeah. For you today. So I'm we're gonna we're yeah. gonna pray and we're gonna let you go and then we're gonna see you again tomorrow night. Uh, we'll share part two of this uh, this idea and uh, we'll continue to take your prayer requests and we'll continue to be praying for you. Absolutely. Right. So let's go to to God in prayer mm -hmm. and uh, let's let's ask Him, uh, Father. We just thank you for uh, your word. We thank you, God, that. Over these 21 days, we're, we're coming together mm -hmm. on a social platform yes, to Lord. pray and to fast, to believe God for, for healing, for deliverance, for miracles, Lord God. Mm -hmm. We're praying, Lord God, for, for uh, you to, for you, your people to be set free, Lord yes. God. We're, we're, we're praying, God, for a, uh, a, a deeper walk, yeah. Lord, mm -hmm. a, a spirit, spiritual breakthrough, yes, Lord, Lord God, for bondages and addictions mm -hmm. to fall, Lord. None of this is possible, Lord, without you. And so, God, uh, as we come to you, uh, mm -hmm. your word says that you are a rewarder of those yes. who are seeking you yes. out. And so, God, we're seeking you out for 21 days. We're, 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 yes, we're chasing Lord. hard yes, after Lord. you. We want to get in your presence. And so, God, would you just do what only you can do right now, Lord God, mm -hmm. even today, Lord. And we, we thank you ahead of time for what you're doing. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. amen. You know what? I am believing. And amen. Amen and amen. And amen. I just want to say. <laughs> In conclusion. <laughs> she's a real thing. preacher, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's too funny. I just wanted to anchor. Every time I try to close, she pulls me back in. Do <laughs> you see this? I live with him. Go ahead. Um, no, I just wanted to encourage everyone to remain faithful. Remain <laughs> steadfast. Be your cheerleader for yourself and just watch what God can do because God is the miracle worker. He will bring you out of the depths. Yes. I'm preaching. Amen. But it's so <laughs> true. And I have someone that, um, Morales, please, pre, please pray for my family and me after the passing of my 22-year-old grandson. Mm. It's been very difficult. Absolutely. Very sad. Yes. Well, you know what? Let's pray right now. Father, I lift up the family, yes. the Morales family, Father. Their 22-year-old grandson that has been, uh, pa that, that passed, Lord God. Yes, Father, God. we know that you, of all people, of all, just you, God, you can transform. You can bring peace. You can bring hope and love and strength and all of those things. So I'm asking you that you surround yes. the family. That you bring the peace, Lord God. That you bring an understanding. But God, we thank you, Lord, that we can come together in one accord on Facebook Live and love each other like no other. Mm -hmm. We thank you, Lord, that we have you to bring our our um, our prayers to. Yes. And we love you so much in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Uh, for the family, I just wrote your name down, Morales family. We'll be praying for you. Mm -hmm. For these 21 days and so uh, uh absolutely and Every, but uh, yes. we'll definitely let, yes. let, let them know because you know grief is something that you have to go through it's a, it's a process but it we, is a process god is god it takes all of our heavy burdens and yes. so um, yes we will be praying for that for you mm. uh, as well well okay. we i think we are it's time for us to say good night we don't want to keep you too long uh we are connecting all week yep actually for 21 days we are going to be connecting Friday night from hopefully the Einstein Community Center. 135 Einstein. Einstein so you can catch it live. Hopefully that would be the best. We're going to try to live stream it. Can't always get it we're, guaranteed. We're going to believe. Pray for us. We're going to believe. We're going to pray for the Wi-Fi in Co-op City. The Wi-Fi. Which is horrible. But we're going to Well, pray. don't say that. God can do all things. That's right. He can well. break through the walls. That's and right. Uh, and I don't forget what we've been saying. And I'm going to say it every day is that 2022 can be your best year if you make it your best year spiritually. Oh, that's you decide good. to get, to God, get, get closer to God. All right? We love you. Amen. And we will see you again tomorrow night at 7 p.m. Is it my turn? <laughs> it's his turn now. My turn. All right. He has to turn off the camera, so I get time to have special time with you. <laughs> so good night. We love you if you need us. Reach out in the chat or text or email us. We are there for you.
We love you. See you later.